The day has finally come. GeForce Now has its very own Steam Deck app, and today I'm gonna to show you exactly how to download, install, and set it up so you can finally enjoy all that GeForce Now has to offer right on your Steam Deck. Let's dive into it. First of all, hi. I'm back from my little hiatus. As some of you might know, I recently moved and have been spending the last couple weeks getting things situated in my new place, which means the studio is still very much in progress. That being said, it's been the perfect time to test out this new GeForce Now app, especially while I'm in the process of getting my desktop back up and running. And if you've been following along, you know I'm a big fan of GeForce Now, so when Nvidia reached out to me to check out an early version of the app, I couldn't say no. So. What changed? Well, if you remember my last GeForce Now video, I showed you guys how to run NVIDIA's script that essentially placed a browser link within your SteamOS homepage. And while this worked, it was lacking some of the features you could get in other versions of GeForce Now, like 4K resolution and HDR. Well, I'm happy to report that with this new official app, you're no longer having to run a script and jump through a bunch of hoops, and instead installing an actual version of GeForce Now similar to how it runs on Windows. This means you can now utilize higher resolutions beyond 1080p, making docked gameplay so much better. And it now supports HDR, which is a personal favorite of mine, especially on the Steam Deck, as it's the pretty much the only handheld to support HDR. And trust me when I say it makes a difference. And quite frankly, is reason enough to use GeForce Now on deck rather than any other platform. So to summarize, you can now stream up, up to 4K 60 FPS when connected to a TV or up to 1440p 120 FPS when connected to an external monitor. You also get full support for HDR10, both in handheld and external output modes. All this bundled into a much more streamlined installation process, which we'll jump into next. Now, NVIDIA does say that native 90 FPS for handheld mode will be in a future update, but for now, you'll be limited to 60 FPS, which in my testing is more than fine, even in fast paced games like Doom, The Dark Ages, which if you couldn't tell, is the game I tested the most. So as far as installation goes, all you need to do is set your Steam Deck into desktop mode by hitting the Steam button, power, then switch to desktop. Once you're on the desktop, you're going to open a browser and head to the GeForce Now website, which I'll have linked below. Once you're there, you'll scroll all the way down to where it says Steam Deck. Now, since this video was made before the release, my setup looks a little different, but if you're following along, it should look very similar. Now, once you've downloaded the app, you'll open and run the file GeForce Now Setup. This will work just like any other software you've ever installed, so just follow the on-screen instructions. Once it's all said and done, you can go ahead and go back to gaming mode. Once you're back to the standard homepage, you should see NVIDIA GeForce Now right in the carousel. If you don't, you may need to unhide your non-Steam games. Since GeForce Now is an app, and not a game, SteamOS won't always display it in your games. To enable it, all you need to do is hit the Steam button, go to library, then navigate over to non-Steam games. From there, you can just launch the app and log in as you would anywhere else. However, some of you may notice that your touchpads and controls aren't working within the app. If that's the case, just hit the Steam button, go to controller settings, click controller settings again, select your current control profile, then navigate over to the search bar and just search XXIV GFN. I made this controller profile so you don't have to worry about doing the bindings yourself. Once you've applied it, you can back out and now you can use your right touchpad as a mouse to navigate the interface as well as click the touchpad to select your games. If this is your first time using GeForce Now, you'll need to both sign into your Nvidia account as well as connect all your third party accounts like Xbox, Steam, and so on, so all your titles will sync. If you don't have a GeForce Now account, you'll want to set that up on your computer first before logging into the Steam Deck. After that, you can go into the settings and make some tweaks as you see fit, although I recommend keeping things as they are, as pushing your resolution to 4K in the app may cause some artifacting as well as potential connectivity issues depending on your internet speed. <laughs> this goes without saying, but in order to take advantage of the full 4K experience, you'll want to make sure you have a consistent high-speed connection, otherwise GeForce Now will stutter to a halt and even sometimes kick you out completely. That being said, if you're planning on using this in handheld mode most of the time, which is what I did, you shouldn't have much of an issue streaming at 1080p, which is what I recommend on most connections. If you're unsure what your network can handle, you can run the connection test and NVIDIA will tell you whether or not your connection is stable enough to run. Another setting I recommend enabling is the in-game's graphics settings toggle, which will save whatever in-game settings you set for each title. This means if you tweak the graphics settings in Doom the Dark Ages, it'll keep that setting each time you load it up. Okay, now that we got the install out of the way, let me give you some of my personal thoughts after using it on the Steam Deck as an official app versus some of the older methods. First of all, 
Install and setup is way more user friendly. Having to use a third party app or run a console script is far from the best way to enjoy GeForce Now. And if you've watched my videos on that topic, you'll know that the process can be a bit finicky, but ultimately did work, but not without its drawbacks. Previously, we were limited to 1080p streaming no matter what, didn't have HDR support, and the overall experience of using the interface was just not what we come to expect from SteamOS. Quite frankly, compared to other devices running GeForce Now, I avoided using it on my Steam Deck because it just wasn't as good. It felt like a patch over a gap that we really needed filled. Many of you know that I think the Steam Deck is still to this day one of, if not the best way to play PC games on the go. But the one area it lacked was in cloud gaming support. And sure, Steam Link is very useful and convenient, but only if you have the PC and the connection to back it up. Not to mention, it's limited to just your Steam library. So when GeForce Now came out, I was super disappointed to see it wasn't natively supported on Steam Deck. Well, Nvidia heard our feedback, and now we have everything we want all on deck. And while I don't have much to say about the overall gaming experience since it's mostly unchanged, I do have a lot of positive sentiment toward the app itself. I will say, HDR support locally on the Steam Deck is absolutely phenomenal. If you're using an OLED deck, definitely try that out and let me know your thoughts. That and streaming at 4K while docked to a TV is an excellent way to get that console-like experience all from one single device. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Ever since I've started using GeForce Now, I've found it harder and harder to go back to my PC to play games. Unless it's Star Citizen, that I still play on PC, and other competitive PvP games like League of Legends, which makes sense, but if you're like me and mostly play story-driven single-player titles, GeForce Now on a handheld is absolutely the way to go today. Not only do you get to play all your games in one place, but you get to play them at max settings with ray tracing and even at 4K, all while literally saving battery on your handheld, meaning you can play well over double the time you'd get playing the same game locally. It's a win-win across the board. And as far as pricing, listen, I did the math in the past, but paying for a GeForce Now subscription is actually more cost-effective than going out, building, and upgrading a PC over the same amount of time. So if you're someone who already has a Steam Deck but can't quite justify getting a gaming PC, this might just be the best alternative to date. But that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button, and as always, make sure to subscribe to see more content like this, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.